Zamir, why is neuroscience an important discipline to undergird aesthetic cognitivism? Well, the answer to that is a much more general answer than, than you might want. It is that all human activity is based on brain uh, organization, brain activity, and aesthetic cognitivism is one of them. You cannot really, really understand uh, the uh, brain's cognitive system or the brain's aesthetic system without understanding how the brain is ultimately organized. And, and I think, uh, you see, you can derive a lot of information, for example, about concepts of love, not from doing experiments on love, but from reading the world literature of love, because it is transculturally, they come all to the same conclusion, the concept of unity and love. That is the output of the brain, saying this is what's important in love. It's all uh, uh, brain-based. So I'm very much, very much inclined to think that you can explain human activity only in terms of brain organization. Some would say that's reductionism, that you are reducing these uh, uh, grand uh, unique att attributes of, of, of human uh, spirit and cognition and uh, yeah. emotion and into firings of neurons and, and uh, swimming of chemicals across synapses between neurons. Uh, are you doing that? Are you a reductionist? Well, I mean, are you the, a reductionist? The, 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 Answer but, but, me but, but, yes or no. Yeah. <laughs> they can say that till the cows come home, because if you look at it, so is art. I mean, what is the art of Mondrian? Let's take that as an example. He says that all forms in the world can be reduced to the vertical and the horizontal line in rectangular opposition. Or when, when, when um, um, Immanuel Kant you know, said that everything is, is uh, run through experience except for time and space, yeah. right? That's reductionist. I can even give you a novel, a one-page novel by Anatole France, which describes all of human experience, the reductionism. There is nothing wrong with reductionism. This is just, a, 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 I don't know, science cannot progress without it. Or science can't progress but without can it, but is there nor... residual? Is there residual after you have fully reduced to, it, to its ultimate level? Is there anything left that well, you cannot uh, reduce? Uh, well, I, I can't give you the answer to that. I mean, just let's, let's look at physics. They keep on telling us this is the last particle, definitely the last particle, and then they come up with another particle. Okay, well, but 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 that, that's that that's a different thing. That, that therefore they're, they're going down in a progression, whether there's an end to it or not. That I think there has to be, but well, that's a different different question. I'm saying in terms of what it means to be human, uh, are you saying that when you answer all the questions of science, there will be no residual? No, I wouldn't go that far. Okay, that's, right. that's, so, that's, what, so what's left over? In your mind, and you're pretty close to a total reductionist to me, so I want to know for so, you, yeah. what is left? Well, there's something, an unknown, uh, if I may quote uh, Rumsfeld, an unknown unknown, <laughs> <laughs> which is left over.